Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Kernel Executor. Yes, it has finally made a return. Um, it has been gone for many, many months and a lot of people were saying that it might never come back. Um, but fortunately, it is now back and it is working on the latest version of Bifron, which I will be showing you in this video. Now, as always, I do recommend watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps. And let's get right into it. Before you actually download the executor, you need to disable your antivirus. Otherwise, you will not be able to download the executor. So to disable your antivirus, you need to go into the start icon, which will be over here on Windows 11. And on Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection and from there go into manage settings and turn off real time protection. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while but for now you need to make sure it's off. When you click this it will give you a little prompt to go ahead and click on yes and it will turn off. Once you've done that go ahead and click the first link in the description which will take you to the download link for the executor. From there go ahead and click on this option right here. And when you click that, it will take you to this page right here. Go ahead and complete these simple steps and that will take you to the final download destination. From there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop and go ahead and click on save. Once you've done that, you will see it has downloaded. So go back to the place you've downloaded it and go ahead and double click the download manager. And that will go ahead and open the download page. So from here, go ahead and click on next. And it will give you a few offers. It's completely up to you if you want to accept any of these. In my case, I'm just going to click on decline and click decline again. And there we go. And from there, it's going to give you the direct download link. You can go ahead and click on copy. So you can just highlight it and copy it just like that and go back to your browser and you can open the link and that will give you the download for kernel. From there, choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to choose my desktop. And as you can see, it has downloaded on my desktop. Now, I do want to let you know this link will not work for everyone. You have to generate your own link following the steps that I showed you in the video. So once you've got your download for the kernel executor, you can go ahead and double click it. And if you get this little prompt, go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. And there we go. And it's going to start downloading the files for you. And it's just usually takes anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds. And there you go. So as you can see, it has now opened kernel and we're pretty much ready to use it. So let's go through some of the functions or the options right here. So going over to the home page, you need to actually click. So if it's like this, you need to actually click this little plus right here. And over here, you've got the preferences. So you can turn on auto attach and always on top. And you can also turn on auto launch. That's completely up to you. And that's pretty much the basic functions that you need in an executor. And apart from that, you've also got scripts that you can save over here for yourself to use later on. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and actually jump into the game and I will show you how it works. So as always, you do need to use the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. This will not work with the Web Store version. And when you do open the Store version, you just need to go into Roblox. Make sure it's updated to the latest version. And to check that, when you come onto the screen right here, it's going to have an update button right here. And if you don't see that, that means you're updated to the latest version. So let's go ahead and click on Play Now. And you can see it gave me a little alert at the bottom and it said it has injected. Now, if it's your first time using kernel, you have to generate a key. So I will show you the steps of generating the key. So when you do come onto this page, you need to firstly do this. Let's go ahead and do that and click on submit. And that will take you to the first checkpoint. From here, go ahead and click on free access with ads. And it will give you a little pop up right here. Don't worry at all. Click on I am interested and click on explore website and learn more or whatever option it gives you. Just go ahead and click that. And when you do open it, just stay on it for around two to three seconds. And then you can close out of it. And okay, it didn't work. So we need to stay on it for longer. And I will show you what you're looking out for. So let's go ahead and go back. And as you can see now, it has given me the option to continue. So it says I have already completed this checkpoint. So you need to click that. And now you can see it's taking me to the checkpoint too. So same thing again. Click submit and let this load. From here, click on free access with ads. From here, click I am interested. There we go. And click this option right here. Stay on this ad for a couple of seconds and then we're going to go back. Here we go. Okay, it hasn't worked just yet. Just to make sure I'm going to close out of these. And okay, it did work. There we go. And we're on checkpoint three now. There we go. All right, and there you go. So that's pretty much how you generate your key. There are a total of four checkpoints. And when you do get to the final checkpoint, it will tell you that the key has automatically been detected or it will detect the key when you do inject it. So let's go ahead and try that out. 
um let me go ahead and it says incorrect key this time around so let's go ahead and reopen roblox and inject it again it's automatically going to attach this time and this time it didn't open up pop up for me and it, it is working completely fine and you can see correct key and it has loaded and that is pretty much how you download and set up kernel now at this point you can pretty much go into any game of your choice and you can paste your script in here and click this execute button and you will be able to execute the script now there will be certain scripts that might not work in those cases you just have to grab another script and just check if that one works and yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys if you do have any questions leave them in the comments below i will try my best to answer all of them and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching